This is a weapon I never expected I would have liked. But once Iceborne came around, things changed real fast. The Switch Axe got quite an awesome treatment when it comes to the Iceborne expansion. You really do get to enjoy a variety of playstyles and ways to approach taking down a monster. The Switch Axe is a perfect name for a weapon that you can switch up playstyles in such a quick and fluid manner. Let me tell you why I love the Switch Axe. First, we'll start with the build I used just for transparency. I'm not showing the build to show you the most optimal build for a Switch Axe, so if you're needing that, this might not be the best video to watch. Typical damage skills, weakness, exploit, crit eye, crit boost, master's touch because duh. And I went with the buff body chest for some solid slots and some agitator built in. I threw on a splash of power prolonger, but I know that there's quite a difference of opinion. It seems to be between using power prolonger or focus or both and how much you use of each. Outside of that, we have elementless boost since I'm on PC without Safi for this one and took up the guild palace switch axe. It's truly personal preference and another example of the versatility with the Switch Axe. You can extend the time your sword is in its amp state, or the time your axe is in what I like to call trip mode, also known as power axe mode, or you can go the focus route and get to your amp state even faster. This is also one of the things that I love about Switch Axe, is that you're not stuck with having to use specific skills, like the Gun Lance needing Artillery 5 at all times, or the Great Sword relying on focus. Right off the bat, we start with what is my favorite part of the Switch Axe, the axe itself. The mobility that you have with such a large weapon is actually pretty impressive in my opinion, unlike its sword counterpart. There's even a long sword fade slash-esque move for you to get out of a compromising spot in a hurry while still doing some damage to the monster or part you're trying to break down. We then take a look at one of the moves that really makes you feel like quite the badass when you spam it, the Wild Swing. Throwing your axe around, Weaving it with such finesse and cracking into the monster gives you all the feels of a masterful hunter. A bit of a complaint that I had with the Switch Axe in Base World was the fact that when you did this move, you were pretty much locked into it until you just let it come to a rest. With the Iceborne treatment, even if you're in the midst of a deep wild swing combo, you can shoot a slinger burst to help you disengage or drop a monster to its side. But for me, one of my favorite axe attacks to land is the heavy slam. You throw in at least three wild swings, bring the axe downward, then flip and do a huge, heavy smash into the ground. When you happen to catch the monster with this attack, you can truly feel the weight of the damage and send them reeling in the right moments. Not only does the slam look and feel awesome, but it puts your axe into a power state that helps you to trip, stagger monsters, and break parts faster. And when I say it helps you break parts faster, I mean that to the fullest. Without any kind of part breaker skill involved, I was breaking monsters parts in the Guiding Lands with laughable amounts of ease. I cannot begin to tell you just how much I love using the axe on monsters like the Rathalos and Rathian families, and even Diabolos. Tripping them over and over and putting them into a stun lock is a pretty easy thing to do with power axe mode and the variety of swings at your behest. The reach with the axe is an awesome quality as well. Speaking of those flying dragons, when you have a monster like Azure Rathalos that likes to stay airborne quite a bit, it's easy to see why having a giant axe with tremendous vertical reach is a plus. While it still isn't going to be as eye-popping with damage numbers as Sword might be, having the monster constantly on the ground sure does seem to make up for it in my experiences. If you get tired of doing extremely awesome axe attacks and tripping monsters over and over, with the press of a button, you can transform your axe into a sword large enough to even make Cloud think his buster sword needs to be a tad bit bigger. This of course changes your playstyle drastically, but the beautiful thing is that it's not just a quick transition from axe to sword only. With that same press of a button, you can revert right back to axe mode from sword mode. For those of you who are veterans with the Switch Axe, know that you can even make these transitions mid-combo. For a smooth and very damaging transition from axe to sword mode, you can interrupt your wild swing to go into a lengthy combo transition into sword mode. You need to pick the right moments to do this, but when you do, you'll do some heavy damage ending with a slashing blow from your sword. In the opposite sense, if you're going from sword to axe mode, there's opportunity for you to either switch right on the spot, or you can pull a fade slash that will see you move backwards to disengage while making a transition slash into your axe. Having these options to switch on the fly 
is a beautiful thing and helps you to have the right tool at hand for any given situation during a hunt. While you're in sword mode, one thing is going to be very clear. Your mobility is pretty drastically reduced. This isn't exactly a state you want to be running around in. While in sword mode, you can pull off some pretty heavy chunks of damage though. Iceborne's clutch claw mechanic also gave switch axe a nice little treat in sword mode. While you're doing an elemental discharge, you can now actually grapple onto the monster in the midst of doing this. So now you can clutch onto the monster and either weaken the part with a normal attack or pull off the zero sum discharge. I noticed myself loving this mechanic more and more because I'd be outside of an amp state, go in for a discharge, and notice that while it's revving up and building that gauge, it became full mid rev. So boom, you hit the button and clutch onto the monster and now you're in position of power to really unload on it. Remember how I talked about switch axe giving you multiple play styles to choose from? Well that amp state gives you another one, pulling off as many zero sum discharges as you can. This is an explosive and fun way to play switch axe and sees you taking every opportunity presented to get back into that amp state to roll off another zero sum discharge. Sword mode can also help you to differentiate your playstyle through another component up its sleeve. Just like the charge blade, the switch axe has a variety of file types for you to take advantage of or choose to complement your goal during a hunt. As far as which file is meta right now, I'm not too sure. You have the power file, the power element file, or you can go specific and roll with the switch axe that has a poison, dragon, paralysis, or exhaust file. This just expands even further the amount of flexibility you have with the switch axe. For those of you on console that have faced off against Safi, you know just how good it can get by being able to choose which file you use for your customized switch axe. Grant yourself some straight up extra attack power, set yourself up to get more staggers, get even more of that sweet sweet KO damage, or poison the monster faster. However you want to play, you can do it. Iceborne also gave Switch Axe a much more broadened horizon by giving Element Switch Axes a great complement in zero sum discharge playstyles. You don't need to lock yourself down to one Switch Axe, and having that kind of freedom and choice without having to greatly sacrifice is a huge reason why I've taken kindly to the weapon. That's not to say that your raw weapon should be tossed aside by any means, because they are still just as viable. There are so many options at your hands when you pick up the Switch Axe, especially now that power element files are even better. The switch axe in my opinion got a great boost in its playability with the Iceborne expansion. Right from the beginning you have distinct playstyles you can choose from and you branch off from there into many more options. Variety is a big plus when it comes to weapons and it has that in many ways. You can take the latter half of its name and use that through the entire fight if you like that playstyle. I've gone through plenty of hunts using nothing but the axe and had an absolute blast and no trouble at all. It's fun to be able to break parts faster and constantly trip monsters thanks to the new power axe mode. Heavy slamming a monster in the face or even landing that slam and cutting off a tail brings new life to a great weapon. We all know that the zero sum discharge is the most badass move you can pull off with the switch axe and that's only gotten easier with the new clutch move you can pull mid discharge to wrangle the monster. You combine this with an even more viable option in Iceborne, the element switch axe, and you'll be more than happy with your results during hunts. There are files galore to give you extra options and playstyles as well. At the end of the day, the switch axe is a weapon that may not get love in the design category of things, but it makes up for it with the fantastic improvements it received in Iceborne. It's not an overly complicated weapon, so it's easy to just jump in and have fun. But when you master the transitions between sword and axe mode, you find your creases to fit in those zero sum discharges, you learn when to press forward or to use one of the many disengage options, now you have a weapon that you won't want to put down anytime soon. But that's going to be it for this one. I've been on a switch axe kick for quite some time now, and I've been taking advantage of using it while grinding some of the many things I still need to do on PC. I've used a variety of switch axes, and as of yet, I haven't really found any of the playstyles to be lackluster. It's a fun weapon with just a brilliant, cool concept from the get-go. I can promise once you give it a thorough chance, you'll learn to love it too. If you liked the video, please let me know with a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the Switch Axe, and if you're a Switch Axe main, feel free to leave tips or throw in something I may have left out as to why Switch Axe is an awesome weapon. 
Subscribe if you haven't already for more Iceborne, Hunting Horn, and other Monster Hunter content. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.